The Science Success Center, with funding from Title V, presents The Chemical Basis of Life, a Biology Workshop. Hi, I'm Daniel. Living organisms are composed of about 25 chemical elements. An element is a substance that cannot be broken down to other substances. These elements make up matter, which is anything that occupies space and has a mass. The four most abundant elements in a human are oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, and hydrogen. These four elements make up 96% of the human body. Trace elements are also needed, but only in minute quantities. Trace elements are common additives to food and water. One symptom called goiter is due to a deficiency of iodine. The nutrition facts found on this cereal box clearly shows the trace elements added to the food to preserve, make it more appealing, and to provide the minimal amount of trace elements needed for a healthy diet. Elements can combine to form compounds. Each element has a distinctive characteristic. By combining two or more elements in a fixed ratio, a compound is made with its own unique characteristic. When sodium, a metallic substance, and chlorine, a toxic gas, are mixed, a compound sodium chloride is synthesized, an everyday ingredient for food. Atoms consist of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons are located at the center and known collectively as the nucleus. Protons are positive charged particles, and neutrons have no electrical charges. Electrons are found moving randomly around the nucleus in sublevels called, called shells. The protons inside the nucleus represent the atomic number of an element's atom. A mass number is determined by adding the number of protons and neutrons. Isotopes are elements that have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. For example, carbon-12, 13, and 14 are isotopes. Notice how every carbon isotope has the same number of protons, but the neutron count changes for every isotope. Did you also notice that the number of electrons did not change also? This trend holds for all isotopes. Radioactive isotopes can help or harm us. Radioactive isotopes can be tracers that can be used for diagnosis in combination with sophisticated imaging instruments like the ones shown. Although radioactive isotopes have benefits, some are considered lethal. The particles of some of these dangerous isotopes are uncontrollable and the energy thrown off by radioactive atoms can break chemical bonds.